What's going on guys, my name is Itempo TV Lee and today we are in Formcraft 4.1 and I will be showing you the ins and outs of Formcraft. Sometimes I'll be with my friend Tom, sometimes I won't. Okay, so let's get started. Right, first up, we're going to do some ores. We're going to learn about cinnabar ore, infused stones and amber. So cinnabar ore can be smelted into quicksilver which is used for further formic items. This is what quicksilver looks like. Um, Infused stone is basically, they give off shards, these kind of shards, which are loyal to their element. So fire will give an uh, igneous aspect, which is an element, uh, etc. <coughs> uh, lastly, there's amber, which is purely decorative. It gives blocks like this, so bricks which are slightly transparent blocks which are slightly transparent and then amber which you create these with right up next we're going to be learning about these little glowy things can you see them can you see them boom now you can right these are aura nodes which give off um, some aspect if you scan them and use your wand on them see there it shows air and order so it will give me air and order if I had a wand this one I probably won't be able to scan oh wait it's air ignis and perdicio so each one of these will have a separate aspect in between them. In them, I meant. Okay, next we're going to learn about shimmer leaf and cinder pearls. So shimmer leaves are found around uh, quicksilver wood, which are in magic forests most commonly. Uh, when destroyed, they'll drop this stuff, quicksilver. And once cinder pearls is destroyed, they will give you blaze powder. Okay, next we'll go downstairs and I will show you these obsidian totems. These are found quite commonly around the world. It will be two totems and then a tile. The tile will contain an aura node, which was upstairs. And once destroyed, it will make this noise. That means you destroyed the node. And basically you don't goofed. Because you ain't getting that back. Okay, up next we're going to go find some great wood and some silverwood trees. Okay, so now we found a great wood tree. This is what it looks like. It's a dark wood with bluey, greeny leaves. Um, they usually have, well, sometimes they'll have spider webs around them, which means there'll be a spawner underneath. There'll be a spawner, say here, with a chest underneath, which will grant you uh, dungeon items such as saddles, records, and even form formium ingots. Up next, we're going to find the silverwood tree, which is only over here because we're in a magic forest biome, which is also a formic addition. So as I said before, the shimmer leaves are around here, and it's a white tree with bluey leaves. Um, let's see if I can try and find one. I'm not sure if there is one, but sometimes they'll, you'll see a little dent or a, a mark on these, which basically means there's an aura inside it, which can be sapped for its aspect with, an, with a wand. But I don't think this one has... No, this one doesn't have an aura node in, but they sometimes do. Also, I may note that in magic biomes there are mana beans, which when you eat, you get their aspect. It's really cool. Um, other additions to that Formcraft adds is stuff like Petch, which is a type of villager which you can trade Formcraft stuff with. Uh, I couldn't spawn them in because there is no spawners for them but um, that's that's all to do with the environment and the next episode we'll be going through getting started on formcraft so stay tuned subscribe to see more videos like this and thanks for watching i'll see you next time bye